God damn. What's the deal, fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. So, as you saw from that little intro right there, you might have guessed it. Freaking battery is dead. Now, this has been an ongoing issue um, with this car for a number of months. And from the research I've done, and even some of my friends who've, uh, who has uh, Subarus for many years, they'll, they all say that the factory battery that comes from Subaru is pretty much trash. And it is true, especially if you have a number of accessories or whatnot in your car. So after extensive research, I chose to go with the Optima Yellow Top. Uh, for its cranking amps plus it's definitely for moderate to heavy accessory vehicles so like for instance in this car i got three dash cams i got gauges i have when i open my door i have these uh welcome door sills on both sides so it definitely would suit my needs so let's go to the hood real quick all right, folks, so we're under the hood. This is the battery right here for most Subi owners. This is the typical one of the mill battery that everybody has. As you can see right here, this is my nifty charger I've been using for a while now. Every couple days, I gotta use this because the battery definitely keeps discharging on its own. And what I did forget to mention too, I do have a drone app. It's a remote starter app that also gives me notifications. So it definitely is an extra accessory that uses the battery as well. Now, once I open it up, that's how it looks. But the main screen is right here. I gotta hit back. So this is it right here. And it gives me status updates of everything. The engine is off, but look right here. This is the battery notification right here. It's freaking low, 10 volts. So it tells you the inside temperature. So it's an extra accessory that runs which is pretty nifty. So anyway, I would have to use this charger, leave it on there sometimes because this is good for like winter storage modes as well. But anyway, this it's not even three years yet and the battery is just, it's not good. So I'm just gonna keep this as a spare battery to test lights and whatnot. And let's go to the other replacement. All right, folks, so this is the battery right here. I'll go over these numbers in a second, but what this is, it's an AGM battery and AGM means absorbed glass mat so the glass mats hold electrolytes sandwiched in between and constantly touching these lead plates which makes them super super efficient now since there is no liquid in here it's pretty much freeze proof and since there is also no liquid in here you could virtually put this thing anywhere also it looks on the research that i did it seems that this design will actually help provide better starting power and it should be able to accept recharging a lot faster as well. Now, if you notice right here, it says yellow top deep cycle and starting. So what a deep cycle is designed to do is provide a steady amount of current over a long period of time. And what another good point about a deep cycle battery is that it can be repeatedly discharged and recharged without damaging or pretty much shortening the lifespan of the battery. So in layman's terms, a battery like this will definitely help you or will help me because I have a lot of accessories in the car. All right, guys, so if I didn't mention it before, I'm gonna just go over the specs of the yellow top. Um, the, from the research I've done, the, there's the red top, yellow and blue. Red is mainly like for like a starting battery, especially in the colder climates. The yellow top, that's the one I have for accessory heavy vehicles and the blue is for marine. So here we go. All right, guys, so the first category, you see CA or cranking amps, and you see 770 right here, which is pretty high. And the 770 is the amount of amps this battery can deliver for 30 seconds at 32 degrees Fahrenheit while maintaining 7.2 volts within its system. That's pretty dope. Now, the second category is CCA or cold cranking amps, and you see 620 right there. So the 620, that's the amount of amps this battery is rated to deliver for 30 seconds at zero degrees Fahrenheit while maintaining an internal voltage of 7.2 volts. Now the third category right there, you see AH or amp hours. 
and it's 48 amp hours so obviously 48 amps for one hour the battery can deliver for 24 amps for two hours or 16 amps for three hours and so forth now the fourth one right here that's RC or reserved capacity which that number is in minutes so this 100 that's it'll take a hundred minutes of this battery at full charge at 80 degrees Fahrenheit to discharge 25 amps until the battery drops below 10 and a half volts and obviously right here you could see that these numbers right here are almost interchangeable like the amp hours is 48 so I just told you you can actually get and in two hours you can get 24 amps for every two hours right and this right here the reserve capacity it's a hundred minutes or what an hour and 40 minutes and it's an hour and 40 minutes at 25 amps so this actually makes sense so at 24 amps you can get about two hours and at 25 amps you can get about an hour and 40 minutes so it makes sense all right guys so without further ado uh going through all these formalities it's time to install the battery so obviously got to take this one out here real quick take out the negative and positive terminals hopefully i don't have to take off this intercooler piping oh man that is gonna suck but anyway um i'm gonna just time lapse through it because it's not that hard and obviously you got to take off the the bracket or the holder right here actually the battery tie down and just Swap the new one out. Dick ain't dynamite, give a bomb sex. Pedestal ridicule is a concept. But how high could I hold it through the process? On a straight path, started switching lanes. While I was giving up on spitting game. You were saving numbers under different names. Wasted the only thing that I can't regain. My time, but still, whenever you ask me to jump in, I just say how high. Everything that you want me to do, no questions why. When I look in your eyes, I cannot see no lies. Hi, fam. So, finished product, about to start the car. Obviously, guys, you took your battery out and you put a new one in. Obviously, you're gonna have to adjust your settings in your car, your clocks, stuff like that. Take the car for a little run. So, like, if you have an access port, it can relearn the system. Obviously, that freaking Subaru battery tie-down is freaking whack. So, drop in the comments if you guys have an aftermarket mount. What do you think I should get? I'll be doing some research for that in the near future as well and uh thank you guys for watching definitely drop a comment what you thought about the video like subscribe let's start this bad boy up oh guys one little tidbit before i start the car make sure you do your research year make and model especially when you're looking for an aftermarket battery because if you get caught up with cranking amps cold cranking amps the battery is powerful and you install a larger capacity battery in your car what that can do, it can change the current, which can lead to spikes and surges, and it could definitely damage uh, your onboard computer system. You blow out fuses, uh, you have no clue. So it, it can lead to a lot of expensive problems <laughs> in your life. So just keep that in mind.